What's up guys? It has been a minute since my last Minecraft video, let alone my last video in general really. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, when I was recording, what was it, episode 2 for The Last World, I literally looked at my phone for like 2 seconds, got blown up by a creeper in the middle of the day, and that was it. Like I said in hardcore, if you die, you die, you don't get to respawn. And I ended up just waiting for Call of Duty to come out. I didn't really make as much YouTube videos of that as I wanted to, or like I planned to. I did stream a whole bunch. I have a few reasons why I didn't really make a lot of YouTube videos. I'll go over it in a little while. But that being said, we are starting a new Minecraft world. It's still 1.19 and 1.20 should be coming out in a few months now. So we're just going to play this world, see what we can get done in, I think, like three months. And then when 1.20 comes out, we'll probably start a new one. But uh, yeah, so this is the new world and let's get right into it. Alright, so first things first, uh, it took me a while just to find this seed. I probably went through like 50 to 70 different seeds, literally looking around for like three hours. Uh, what I would do is I would just load up a random seed in creative mode and just kind of search the spawn area, see how the seed was looking. So I do kind of know the surrounding areas a little bit. Like I know there's a village, uh, let's see. I think the village is like somewhere in that direction. And there's like one of those half-made nether portals right there. But other than that, I don't really know anything about the world. I don't. I didn't go into the nether or anything like underground. Just kind of like a radius of like 200 blocks from where I spawned. I'll actually type in the seed right here for you guys if you want to load it up. I'm just going to go loot this up in the village and we'll take it from there. Alright, not bad I guess. I mean, not great at all. Also, I just want to say, so I did know that was there, and there's a village off in this direction, but I didn't look in the chest or anything like that, so I don't know what kind of loot we're going to get. Let me make uh, some things first. That'd probably be a good idea. But yeah, also let me know in the comments like what how the audio sounds, because I have it set for Call of Duty, so hopefully my mic isn't too loud or the game isn't too loud. But like I said, just let me know in the comments below how everything sounds and I'll fix it if it is not good. Alright, so I don't really have like a specific plan for this episode. I mean, I want to get, I would like to get full iron armor, definitely build our home and maybe even just vi like go into the nether just to see if we spawn near a fortress. And if we do, maybe we'll try to loot it up. But I don't really have any specific plans for this episode. So hopefully everything goes well. Right now I'm just going to head over to the village, get a bed and some food. It got dark very quickly. Um, the village should be somewhere in this direction right here in front of me. Alright, there's the village right there. We gotta get there as soon as possible and go to sleep because I'm not trying to die on the first episode again. Also, another thing for the audio, I was kind of listening, like testing the audio before I started recording this video, and I know you guys might be able to hear like my clicking on the keyboard. Uh, I mean, that's like if it gets really annoying or if it's too annoying, just let me know and I'll fix it because it's either that, which I don't think is that terrible, or if I move the mic to where I, in the other position, it just sounds like I'm far away, like kind of like in a hallway. So just let me know if it's too bad and I'll change it and see how you guys like it. But I don't think it is. So let's see what we got in this blacksmith. Alright, that's definitely not bad at all. Got some armor and an iron pickaxe. So maybe we can mine a little bit and try to find some diamonds. But we definitely we definitely got to get our food situated. I want to get these guys trapped in here. So that way we can always come back and breed them. Because I don't want them just roaming around and then dying. Because it, it looks like there's only... Honestly, it doesn't look like we have many villagers here, even though there's an iron golem. I, I honestly think these are the only two villagers we have, so we definitely got to make sure they don't die or else we're not going to be able to breed them. Alright, so we're pretty good on food for now. We got enough bread and cooked pork chops. And I made a bed so we can explore now. Don't gotta worry about it turning nighttime. So I think my first plan is... I, I was watching this guy. His name is iJevin on YouTube. Watch, I was watching his Minecraft Hardcore series. And he actually came up with like a pretty good idea for early, early game XP and getting like bookshelves and all that. So basically the plan is to 
try to find an igloo with one of those basements in it that has uh, the zombie and the villager, and you can cure them. And basically, you do that, you turn them into a librarian, and you get the trade. You just keep circling the trades until you get where you can trade for a book and a bookshelf. And you just kind of cycle through that trade until you get like enough XP and enough bookshelves to enchant and stuff like that. So I think that's what I'm going to do or try to do. And in order to do that, you need a good amount of emeralds. And what he had done is he just kind of searched around and looked for abandoned ships or shipwrecks and stuff like that. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to search around, try to see, try to find like an ocean and just ride around on a boat, try to find some shipwrecks and get enough emeralds. And then I'm going to try to find an igloo. This isn't even the buried treasure. Ooh, got some moss blocks. Take this, the paper. The paper's actually good because when we do the trade with the villager, I'm pretty sure one of the trades will also be paper. Another one, alright. Honestly, we'll take the compass. Why not? Okay, let's let's see if we can find this buried treasure now. Oh, there it is. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, 12? I didn't even realize there was that many. And we got two diamonds. So that wasn't bad. I think we got like another, what, like 10 maybe emeralds there. We didn't get any more diamond. Got a couple more, uh, two more iron there. Or actually, no, we got like six more iron. Um, But I think I'm going to try to find one more buried treasure and then maybe go try to find the Anglo. Nice. I don't know how many chests are in here. Oh no. Meow. Okay, so we got. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, so there wasn't a buried treasured map, but there was some more emerald, and we even got an XP bottle and a bunch more iron. Uh, I feel like this, I feel like this is enough emerald. So, I feel like this is enough emerald, and we have some sugar cane to turn into paper. There's another shipwreck right there. Hold up. Hold up. Nice. Definitely take that. <clears throat> we definitely have enough emeralds, enough, uh, sugar cane and everything to make some trades. So, now I gotta go try to find a snow biome and hopefully find an igloo, which shouldn't be too hard, because I don't think they're that rare. But we do got to find an igloo that has a basement underneath it. So I will be back when I find one of those. All right. So that wasn't too bad. We aren't too far from spawn. Maybe like, uh, let's see. I think we spawned actually at like zero, zero. So we're a couple thousand blocks away from spawn. For the zombie villager and the zombie. Um, why is there water here? Okay. So it looks like there's just water above us and it flooded. But... Everything else seems alright, so we should... Yep, we got a weakness potion here. We already grabbed the golden apple. We're gonna have to make another one. That way we can turn them both back into, uh... Regular villagers. Alright. Well, forget it. I was gonna make two gold apples, but... I forgot we need eight ingots, not eight nuggets. So, it's whatever. We only really need one. We're also gonna need a lectern. Forgot how to build it. Let's see... All right, so we got the lectern, and I was able to get the trade, like, fifth try. So this is what you want. You want the paper to be on top for an emerald, and emerald for a bookshelf. So now, we should... Nine emeralds, one bookshelf, just to lock in the trade. So now, when we get rid of this, and he, like, attacks him and everything, he should just keep his trade, no matter what.
All right. He turned into a zombie villager, so we take this potion right here. Boom. Uh, we could actually kill this guy. Okay. So now we take this, splash him with that, give him the apple. And I think it takes about three to five minutes, so we'll be right back. All right, there we go. So everything is going as planned. That took, I don't know, maybe like four minutes. So now he should still have the same trades. Yep, but at a discount. So that is the whole point of this. Huh? Now it's only 18 paper for one emerald and three emeralds for one bookshelf. So huh. the next step is we got to fill this bar up by just doing trades. And then hopefully huh? the next trade that comes up should be, I think it's like one one book for one emerald or something like that so we'll just kind of you know buy this break the bookshelf get the books and just keep rotating it hopefully because if not if that's not the next trade then kind of kind of chalked can't really do much after that we'll just kind of have to chalk this and figure out another way to get xp probably go to the nether or something but hopefully let's see so i think i'll do the paper all right why is my dog barking all right so let's see what trade we got there we go oh that's not good that is not good at all all right so i mean we kind of just got unlucky with the trades like i said we were supposed to get one book for one emerald here and we would have just been able to cycle through these two right here but that is not what happened unfortunately i wouldn't say it was a complete waste of time we still got Two diamonds, 21 uh, ah. iron, seven gold, five bookshelves, and full set of iron armor and tools. So, not a complete waste of time, honestly. Now, I'll probably just head back. Make sure I don't go to sleep and take this bed. I'll probably head back towards spawn and uh, get material for our base and maybe go to the nether or just, you know, stay awake during the nights and just try to get level 30. So, while I'm on my way home, I figure now's a good time to... All right, so while I'm on my way back to spawn, I figured now's a good time to kind of go over why I didn't post a lot when Call of Duty released and my future plans for Call of Duty. Uh, basically... Again, my mic cut out there. Basically, what happened was when Call of Duty released... I mean, I I've played Call of Duty a lot and I still do play it a lot. But when I was playing it and only trying to make videos... It kind of just didn't it wasn't as fun like when i was playing because it felt whenever i played i was only playing to make a video and if i didn't get exactly what i wanted to make a certain video that i was trying to make i felt like i wasted my time and i didn't really like that especially when you're only making youtube videos for one game it just makes it like i don't want to say stressful just really less fun and less like like you're playing to just play the game so i I decided like a couple months in to just not make YouTube videos and I just streamed a whole lot. Like, I streamed like, I want to say like regularly, like three times a week for a good amount of time streaming like five, eight, 10, even like 12 to 15 hours sometimes. So the game's like, it's a good game, right? Like it's definitely one of my favorite CODs and recent pet in the past CODs. But making videos for it just wasn't as fun as I expected. So for my future plans moving forward, I think I'm just going to be making like a lot of Let's Plays videos. So, you know, I'll have this Minecraft Let's Play video or series going on. Uh, there's another game called Crime Boss City, I believe it's called, that comes out in a couple weeks. I'll be starting a series on that. And then I know Star Wars Jedi comes out. The second one comes out in April. So just like, you know, a whole lot of random games playing the campaign modes and like walk plays, uh, walkthroughs and Let's Plays. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you have any like games that you want to see me play, just feel free to type down in the comments and I'll definitely check it out. But yeah, so hopefully it works out. Hopefully you guys enjoy and I'm going to keep heading back towards spawn. I don't think we're too far actually. I think we're actually here. Yeah, so I'm going to just get some materials and I'll be right back. All right, so this is where I'm going to be building my home base right on top of this mountain. Last series, I wasn't able to do time lapses. Now I can. The only thing is that because of the opta fabric which if you know you know if you don't then 
it's okay. But basically, when I do the time lapse, it's not going to look as good as it does now. It's basically just going to look like regular Minecraft. So not like terrible, but it just won't look as nice and crisp as it does now. Which I guess isn't the worst thing, but it'll look kind of like this. Alright, so as you can see, it doesn't look the same at all, obviously. It just basically looks like regular Minecraft. So, I mean, it's not terrible. It's just in order to do the time lapse, this is how I have to do it. It's not even really like a me thing. It's just the downloads that I need in order to use the replay mod and make it look nice just aren't out yet. So this is just how we're gonna have to do it. I mean, it's not a big deal. Hopefully the time lapse still works. This is like my first time doing the time lapse. So hopefully I do it correctly. If not, the world will still save and my progress will save. So the house will still be there. We just won't be able to see the time lapse of it. But right now I'm just gonna flatten out this land and get it ready to be built on. So I'll be right back. All right, so we're back on the better looking version of Minecraft. I did rewatch the clip that you guys just watched now, and I know the quality and the graphics aren't great, but there's really not much I can do just because this version of Minecraft and the version of what I need for it to look nice just isn't compatible yet, hasn't been released. So we'll just have to work with what we got. I mean, at least we can do the time lapse. They are pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna build a house this episode for sure, but for right now, I think I'm just gonna go look in some caves. There's a cave, I think, right here. And see if I can get some diamond. I would like to get diamond tools before the episode ends and enchant one of them. So let's go explore this cave right here. Oh. My. God. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Alright, let's just... Woo! We really need to get those totems of undying because... Ugh, man, if I die, I'm gonna be so annoyed. But, play, say, play slow and safe. So we get some enchants, some better armor. And I'm not even, I'm not risking it for nothing. Hey, hello. Oh, we found a mine shaft. That's nice. That's what I like to see. Is that diamond? Let's go. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go. First diamond in the world. Mining. First mining diamond. And there's only one. Come on, be more than one. No. This is looking like a win right now. Very nice, very nice. Take the gold apple. I actually, it's actually like, I love finding mine shafts because, honestly, I just love the easy rails because I do like to make like minecart systems at some point when we get like a lot of stuff going on. So now we don't gotta worry about having to make all of them. Oh, and we're just, we've only dimed, ugh, we've only mined like two diamonds. We have like, we've gotten like a total of like eight so far. So can't complain. I'm going to take those melon seeds.
Hey, yo. Alright, so it looks like we found, what is this called, like the deep dark, something like that? I'll tell you right now, we ain't messing with none of that deep dark. Alright, so the trip in the cave was not bad at all. We got 11 diamonds, uh, about a half a stack of iron, half a stack of copper, lapis, redstone, some other good stuff. So it wasn't bad. Found the skeleton spawner, which I am i don't think I'm going to turn into a like a XP farm just because it's really not worth it. But now we can make our diamond tools, so let's do that real quick. Uh, love it. We'll probably at the end of the episode go into the nether just to see what our spawn looks like and get to level 30 with some quartz. But right now I'm going to go collect the material we need for our home. Uh, I'm going to have to go back in the cave, get some deep slate. Uh, there's some spruce over there. I'm hoping there's not a, uh, I forgot what it's called, the one with the dark oak with the big mushrooms. Hopefully there's one nearby. But I'm going to go get those materials and I'll be right back. Alright, so I think we finally got all the materials I needed. Uh, I was collecting materials and then after I thought I had enough I went into creative mode on a flat world and started building it in creative that way It would just be easier in survival So I'd have a better idea on what I wanted to build and I quickly realized I definitely did not collect enough materials So I came back in here I think I should have enough. Hopefully I do I mean, I even got kind of like the little things like the trap doors and all of this I really just don't want to have to stop the build in the middle of it to go get more materials But I think we should have enough uh, I'm going to do a time lapse of me building this house, so hopefully it comes out good, like uh, like the last time lapse. It's not going to look just like this, but I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you when I'm done.
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. I hope everything came out all right. I definitely am loving this house. This is one of my favorite houses that I've probably built. Uh, it took me about an hour, hour and a half to build it. I think I'm probably gonna, you know, maybe in the next episode or something, maybe I'll just run around and do a little small details. I was thinking maybe adding like a, like glass on the roof for the second floor, the inside, and even like a back, a back door here and add some more stuff here. Um, but on the inside, we're definitely gonna take care of that next episode. Uh, we got to add the floor. There's going to be a second floor here. This is probably going to be the kitchen. This area, so the way it's going to be laid out, this is going to be the kitchen. This area, I have no idea. And then the whole second floor is going to be open for the bedroom. There's going to be storage on that side and a little carpet area here for our pets or something. And so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like the time lapse. I hope you guys like the house. Um... And yeah, so now to finish up the episode, hopefully the episode's not too long. I feel like after that time lapse, I might have added a good amount of time. But right now, I'm just going to go into the nether, peek in there real quick. We're only three levels away from level 30, but I don't think I'm going to have enough bookshelves to enchant for level 30 anyways. So we'll just peek in there real quick, see what the spawn looks like, and get to level 30 and end the episode there. All right, so let's go do that. Alright, that pretty much does it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sadly, in the beginning, with my igloo method, it did not work out. It is a good method if you can get the right trades. But we did get everything else done that I wanted to do. We got the home base set up, full set of iron armor, and diamond tools. And we went to the nether. I'm not sure if I'm going to show it, because the spawn wasn't that great anyways. So, we'll probably just explore it next episode. I also got to level 30. Uh, I think for next episode, my plans are to get a full set of diamond armor, diamond tools, or well, enchanted diamond tools. And we'll probably explore the nether to see if we can find another fortress or one of the bastions. Maybe a couple of other things too. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope the time lapses came out alright. And make sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.